There's always a lot of things going on around me and sometimes I would train my camera on something else while I waited for things in the heron nest to kind of ramp up. For example, there's a stick in the water at the base of these trees that is a popular spot for anhingas to stop by and dry out their raggedy looking wings. Anhingas are a little shy and this one was trying hard to relax while at the same time keep an eye on me. I also captured a boat tail grackle on the bank as it tried to eat a small snail. And then again as it forged in the shallows, gently turning over a shell to see if there's anything underneath worth eating. Up above me, the trumpet call of an arriving heron let me know that something was about to happen in the west nest. It was still really early and the waiting parents' night shift was about to end. The hungry chicks immediately began making their signature ratchety sound. This always reminds me of a sound of an old car trying to start. This would be my first chance to catch the west chicks being fed. The waiting parent immediately flew off to feed itself and the chicks turned their attention to breakfast. They know that the food will come out of that long pointy dispenser and they are relentless until it does. Herons feed their young by regurgitating either partially digested or whole food, and it can be just about anything. Fish, eels, snakes, frogs, lizards, rats, or even small birds. Food that is regurgitated is stored in a pouch in their neck. Thanks, Google. And in order to keep these hungry chicks fed, parents will consume as much as four times what they usually need. So the work of providing never stops. Heron chicks are born able to vocalize and with their eyes wide open. I think they're a combination of goofy and cute, like they were designed by Jim Henson for a spot on The Muppet Show. After the chicks are fed, it's nap time for everybody and a return to the dull part of parenting. Over at the east nest, it was quiet too and the nest was also empty and this made me wonder why. I didn't capture a feeding quite the way I wanted to so a couple days later I was back to try again and this time my persistence really paid off. Thank mm -hmm. you. 